with champagne. Yeah. It's 8 o'clock in the evening. I really appreciate you taking the sure. time and talking to me. I'm excited to hear what you have to say about my house. Definitely. You already talked to any other agents? Um, I did. I had another agent that I talked to. Who... Are they from Caledonians? No, no. Oh, no, it's okay. from another company. Um, Do you remember the name? Uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's a guy who lives in the neighborhood and he sells properties in the neighborhood. I see. So, yeah, I met him already. Did you so. like him? Yeah, he's a nice guy. Okay, okay. Yeah. But before we can so start talking, let me go around the, your property and see as the eyes of the buyers. Sure. And by the time I'm gonna do it, this is your folder. Okay. I already give you folder before. But yeah. This is everything we're gonna talk about. And okay. Some documents that you are might be interested. Okay. And some graphs. So, um, I came back. <laughs> well, you have a beautiful property. Oh, thank you. Definitely. And you live in here by yourself? Yes. Yeah. So I do see there's a lot of upgrades out here. Yeah, one, well, you know, I bought the property was in good condition when I bought it, okay. and um, I did a, a couple little things, a backsplash. And, backsplash, yeah. yes, I love that backsplash. Yeah. Too bad you're moving, otherwise I would be hiring you. You know, I need a contractor <laughs> sometimes. And what about the wood? Did you, did you put your wood? No, well, I hired somebody for that, but yeah, I made sure that there was um, some attractive things to upgrade the property, because yes. I knew I was going to sell at some point. Yes, I definitely. So uh, let's talk about our consultation. Um, mm -hmm. before, before we start a consultation, I want to make sure that uh, you feel comfortable and every information that I'm going to give it to you, you're going to take it to your advantage and make the right decision to sell your home. Okay. Is that fair enough? Yeah, that's fair. Okay, awesome. So what are we going to talk? We're going to talk about market and how we can sell your home for the highest price possible. Okay. And then we're going to move forward to for you to hire me as your listing agent. Is that okay. fair enough? Well, I mean, I want to hear what you have to say, of yeah. Of course, of yeah. course, but uh, um, before we start, I know that every time I go and talk to the people, um, to people who want to sell homes, we have three important things. First, it's the priority to sell your home for the highest price possible. Yeah, is definitely. that correct? Absolutely, yeah. And the second is we're going to talk about, the, but in order to sell the highest price possible, we have to drive the demand. demand. Demand, yeah. yeah. yeah like everything true. else, like yeah. if you sell sneakers, you know, they use the um, famous stuff. Marketing. Marketing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. Same thing is here. When you sell home, you have to have aggressive marketing plan. Right. And the second thing is, of course, price. We have to make sure that we price right so we drive more demand to, demand to your house. Okay. Is that okay? Yeah, yeah. What do you think we could sell it for? Well, we'll get back to you. Then let me talk through over and see what is the marketing plan, plan so you understand everything fully. Okay. And then we'll talk again about hiring me mm -hmm. and see how I can help you. Okay. Okay? Yeah. So when when I when I talked to you yesterday, you actually told me you were moving. Is yeah. that correct? Mm -hmm. And you're moving to Florida. Right. And where are you going there? Is there a the job? Yeah, I'm going to Orlando. I have a job transfer. Okay. So in the next 90 days. Next 90 days. Yeah, wow. I mean, that's, that's, I really need to be out of here no later than um, December, Jan, Feb, the end of February would be the, the latest. The end of February. Yeah. I totally understand that. Mm -hmm. So that, that means we really have to move quick and to do um, all the aggressive marketing plan. Mm -hmm. And what kind of job do you do? Uh, computers. Computers? Mm -hmm. And uh, what is your responsibility if you don't mind? I'm like a programmer. Programmer. Mm -hmm. So you probably have a lot of people that are doing responsible. Uh, yeah, I mean, it, I'm, it's a promotion for um, running a, a division with Dell. So. I'm pretty sure that yeah. you, you make a fortune with that job. Mm, it's fun. <laughs> you yeah. like it? Yeah, I love it. Okay, definitely. So if you have to move there, and you said you're gonna say, you said you're gonna move like end of February. Mm -hmm. uh, what if what happened if you're not gonna sell your home? Oh, uh, no, I don't have a, a plan A and then plan A. So like so no plan B. Yeah, home. I'm gonna sell it. I don't okay. want to rent it out or anything like that. I, I don't have time or the energy. Okay. And, and plus, I want to take some of that money and I'm, I have an apartment set up there. I know where I'm gonna go, <clears throat> but I want to save it for buying a house sooner than later. In Florida. In Florida. Orlando. Yeah. Wow, this, this is a great place out there. Have you been yeah. to Florida? Yeah. No, 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 no. no. Well, maybe in the future when yeah. you're gonna have kids, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, let's see. So you have to go there. That means you you must to sell this house. Yeah. In order to sell this house, we definitely have to act very aggressively to you know to uh, attract more demand. Mm -hmm. And you mentioned that um, what how much you want? One hundred seventy. Yeah. Is that correct. Right. And then uh, you are 
Yeah, 430, 440. I mean, that's what I, I kind of wanted to see what you had to say. All right, but how you, uh, I will show you right in a second. Let me ask you how you come out with this price. Um, just, I, I saw a newsletter uh, the other um, agent had sent out, and okay. um, and then um, just looking online at, at properties that have recently sold. Recently sold. Mm -hmm. Where did you look online? What yeah, you like Zillow and um, there's another website. I don't remember the name. Okay, Zillow. Mm -hmm. it, very interesting. Zillow is usually captured, it indicates on other websites, and it can capture the information. However, sometimes it's not correct because it's 16 days late. So mm -hmm. for us to make a decision, we want to only have to look for MLS. Mm -hmm. Because when people buy the houses, mm -hmm. the appraisal actually use all MLS, like 90 days or six, it depends on the, you know, how long you stay in the property. Well, it's 180 days. Mm. So you, we want to make sure we have correct, correct information. Okay. Okay. And you get that from the MLS. Yes, for okay. sure. So what I'm going to talk about now, <laughs> we understand that you are one of 430, but let me show what kind of unique proposition I have it for you in order to sell your home. Okay. Okay. So we are have a marketing strategy, and the first thing as anything else is the first impression. Yeah. So I mean, do you think there's anything I should do? It's I've, done a lot to the property. Yes, but it, when I, um, can I be honest with you? Sure. Because you mentioned to me before, when I asked you what kind of intern you need, you said mm -hmm. you want an honest, aggressive, and person who will give you the yeah, highest price possible. Okay. Mm -hmm. So when I was looking around, did you you have some um, stuff like laying around, which is you don't want to have that? Yeah. Kind of uncluttered, and yeah. you have pictures of your ex-girlfriend, I don't know. Uh -huh. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You know, yeah, and stuff because off the counters. Yes, everything, everything personal, and yeah. I do see that Rallis watch is looks, sitting on your um, bedroom. Yeah. Yeah, this is very important things, and you want to make sure, even though we have, we're going to have security and lockbox, but you want to take all your valuable uh, valuable stuff and kind of hide it away. Do you okay. have a safe? I saw you have a safe. Yeah, yeah. Know? Okay. Yeah. So, okay, yeah, that makes so sense. So we go on a clutter first, and I teach you how to do that, or we can hire a um, person who will clutter for you, the special people who will the property mm -hmm. like yesterday i just met one this couple moving mm -hmm. for 400 dollars they will stage for you they actually move furniture and you can hold the furniture for two months mm -hmm. okay so it might be will help you when you're going to move to florida okay you know very good yeah, that'd yeah. Be good. so uh, this one thing other thing when we at unclutter what we're going to do we need to take great pictures we don't i'm not going to take pictures i only can take like, selfies because i know <laughs> the angle However, if we're going to take professional <laughs> pictures, I will hire a photographer where you can see here the lighting, the angle, the, the difference besides pictures. Can you see it? Yeah, the lighting. And yes. When yeah. it's like people right now, in order to attract people, first of all, you're going to attract what? Through web, internet, right? Internet, yeah. Because it's a lot of things. You go swipe left, swipe right. Even the dating swipe left, swipe right. So you want to make sure that the person catch your house, and then they will say, "Okay, I want to see this house." Right, get their attention. They get an attention yeah. for sure. That's what, look at this angle, lighting, and matter. Wow, I that's the same. Too. Yeah, that's yeah. the same. Looks so much different. It's a condo downtown. Yeah, it looks like 360. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. So this is first thing we have to do. Okay. So we'll take professional pictures, and then my team and I will hire. We will, I will hire, and I pay for this. This is my exclusive of my my marketing, mm -hmm. and now we will get the high digital um, pictures. Okay. So then, like I told you, a lot of information coming from internet. Mm -hmm. If you see here, buyers come forty percent from internet, right? Thirty five percent from agents, okay, and eleven from the yard, right? So of course I'm gonna put the sign on the yard. Mm -hmm. So everybody can see that you know your property for sale, and we're gonna work through the internet. Mm -hmm. So the first thing put in an MLS, and uh, MLS syndicates through all through all other websites. Mm -hmm. And um, right now, very very like before, when you can have for the newsletter, everything right now is through <coughs> internet, social media. So what I'm gonna do for you, I will put it on social media. Okay. I will use my own Facebook. Because I have a lot of people there, maybe 4,000. 4,000? Yes. Wow. But they're not all from here. Right, all right. around the world. Well, 
that's good. Okay. Yeah. All the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, right? Right. And then what you will do, you will share with your friends and family and say, hey, like if they know that you sell your home, and mm -hmm. maybe they will help you to, mm -hmm. to sell your house. So what does that mean? More exposure. Mm -hmm. That's what we want. We want more exposure to show your property where somebody's going to buy. Okay. And I will use the Instagram. If you would like, we'll do YouTube, which is going to be organic. I'm sorry, I do not use the Twitter. Mm -hmm. Do you have Twitter? No. No, yeah. neither, yeah. I imagine Facebook and YouTube are pretty big. Yes, pretty yeah. big. Facebook is awesome. Yeah. It's yeah. awesome. It's everything. Yes. Yeah. So, and again, like, um, you heard about Kelly Williams, right? Yeah, you guys are pretty, it seems like you guys are the, the big company in town. We are the number one, and mm -hmm. that's the only way I'm working there, because mm -hmm. it's the number one company, and I want to make sure that I give, give a great service. Mm -hmm. Our realtors, they have a great practice, they have great education, and then we have a power hour every day. Mm -hmm. We have some guy from Las Vegas, I think, mm -hmm. teach us. But the reason why I'm telling you that, the reason why I'm telling you that, that we are very well prepared. We are, like I'm personally full time agent. Mm -hmm. Therefore, you know what is different between full time or part time person. Mm -hmm. You want you want to get all attention. You want to make sure that the people, the the agent, will sell your home, fix your house, mm -hmm. and help you as as much as can. So our internet marketing is very extended because Kelly Williams is a big company. We can buy it and syndicate to mm -hmm. over 300, 350 different websites. Mm -hmm. Not only Zillow, not only Home.com, we even go to Walmart, so you can see here. Oh, they're not going to discount my falling prices on my property, are they? <laughs> no. Okay. You are the person who decided. Okay, all right, good. How to price your right. property, right? And, That's a um, lot. That's good. I like that. You like that? Yeah. Also, we have over 135,000 agents all around the world. And you remember I showed you graph where it says only 35% come from the agent. Right. So what we're going to do, we're going to market to the other agent. As soon as I put it on Kelly Williams' website, mm -hmm. everybody around the world is going to see your property. Mm. That's great. Yes. Yeah. And, oh, um, man. That's good. I like it. You see, we're going internationally. Of course, yeah. it's going to be a little required for more, for more budget to spend. Mm -hmm. However, if you want to see people in Thailand mm -hmm. or, I, I don't know, Singapore, Canada, able to market that. Mm. Okay. Okay? Yeah. So now let's talk about what I can do as an agent for you to sell your home. Okay. I sent you before information about me, like a little bit biography. Yeah, I saw that. You yeah. saw that? Yeah. So uh, I've been... You have a degree? That's, uh, what is that? You, your degree? Oh, um, yeah. degree too, but yeah. I mean, I've been doing real estate here, and also I've been doing it internationally, or I've been mm -hmm. in Thailand. Like I told I have a degree in business experience. Bachelor of Business International mm -hmm. and uh, Master of Business Administration. It's not to brag, mm -hmm. but it's just you understand that you dealing with educated person, mm -hmm. and it's not from a person from high school. Right. It just shows to you that I can finish job at that point. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Yeah. Plus, I speak different two different languages. Which oh, which one languages? One Korean, and Russian. Uh huh. Which is will help you. You know, everybody is moving to Austin right now, and a lot of companies like Dell, Samsung. I would say Apple. Mm -hmm. What else? What else? What Intel's else? here. The Intel's here. Yeah. They all hire people all around the world. Mm -hmm. A lot of people coming to South Korea, and India, Russia. And yeah. Europe, yes. There's a lot. So yeah. what does that mean to us? Yeah. That's just, the buyer could be from anywhere, really. The buyer can be from anywhere. Yeah. Plus me, be living internationally overseas and speaking different languages is going to help because mm. I do understand comfort of wellness for mm -hmm. other people. Yeah, that's great. Is it fair enough? Yeah. So before we go into the pricing, let me ask, do you have anything, like any questions that you will ask about my marketing strategy or something about me that you don't like or maybe you have different mm, questions? No, no, I think just what, what you think we could sell it for. Well, I will yeah. get to that. <laughs> <laughs> let me ask you. Is it anything will stop you until up to now will no. hire me? No. Nothing? No, this like is all my good. my accent maybe? No, 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 okay. no you're good. I just want to make you're sure. Good. No. Okay, let's go to the next thing. Pricing. Mm. So, when we talk about pricing, first thing, um, what we have to say, what we have to see is how to price right. Mm. In order to price right, 
what is the pr price right means when the buyer will make the offer that the seller will accept right right depends on condition of the of the market mm. so what buyers do they go and they see other property that been sold within 90 days or 180 days in your area similar to your house mm. and they make the dedicated offer sure right okay so i i'm pretty sure you bought a house the same way yeah, when we were looking around, when I was looking around, uh, I was looking around with my agent. Um, I was uh, when we made the offer, we, we pulled up some comps and took a look at what other properties we sold for. Yeah, that's okay. pretty much what happened. That's what happened. Yeah, I totally understand the, what you're saying. That's other people think the same way. The buyers when they're buying, mm -hmm. and a lot of people have misconceptions like like they're saying, "Oh, I want that much money," mm -hmm. or you know, "I think it's worth that much because I spend it on the flooring." Or backslash right mm -hmm. or neighbor says you know you think i think you should sell for that mm -hmm. or maybe because you don't have enough equity and you just want to get rid of it with the next money mm -hmm. so it's not what you think the market is tells us like i just interpret the market i don't mm -hmm. i don't uh, i'm not making a market i just interpret it what it is right now mm -hmm. so if you're looking at the price importancy please uh, tell me How's high activities going from what uh, what weeks? First, second, fifth, seventh. Looks like in the third yeah. week. So the highest activity. Right around the second and third week. Okay. Yeah, that's so that's the activity level. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So what does that mean? That means more people are coming to see it in the first few weeks. And the properties sell later than that though too, don't they? They do, but uh, it's less activity. When we have less activity, what do you think that means? I don't know what. When we have less activity, mm -hmm. it's less people seeing, you probably have a less offers, right? Yeah, I could, okay. And we we talked before, you said you have to be at, in Florida within 90 days. Yeah. So we have to sell at least within 60 days because if we get an offer on the 16 days, you have a 30, 45 days to close. Yeah, it's a little, I really don't want to be out any late. I, I have to be gone by the end of February for sure. So if you have to be gone by end of February, that means we have to market aggressively and make sure that we price right. Okay. Okay. All so right. what does that mean? There is different graphs. If you price what is market value, and you see here is 10% above, what is gonna? It's actually gonna decrease the opportunity of the sh of showing. Mm. Less buyers gonna come in. Mm. Right. Okay. But if you price below 10% market value. Mm -hmm. More buyers, but I don't want to give the house away though. I mean, I definitely understand. I don't yeah. want you to give your house away either. I want to get most money possible. But with your condition and your situation right now, we have to think right and make sure we be smart on this. Because yeah. if we put it like, for example, you said, How much did we put it in? 430, right? 430. Okay, yeah. So if we go put it above market, what's going to happen? Less buyers. Less buyers, yeah. that means less what? Offers. Less offers, yeah. and uh, would you say how longer probably? I don't know, right? Yeah, okay. So you, know, do you think we can get 430 or? We will, what we do, we'll go over here. Mm -hmm. I actually prepared for you the comps. Mm -hmm. And remember, when I'm gonna do a marketing, besides what I told you, it's gonna be direct marketing around all your neighbors and ask if they want if they want to tell other people because it's the right time for them to choose their new neighbor right mm -hmm. and then we're gonna hold all the every agent if they, when we're gonna do open houses what we do we call feed, uh, calling after feedback we find out what people like or not like so we can adjust the price or we can adjust whatever we're gonna do with your house okay so here's the property that's sold within 180 days. Your subdivision, I, I believe it's great, it's great schooling, so a lot of people not really moving. Mm. So if you look at here, have you seen this property before? Zachary one? Yes. Um, I mean, I saw it online. I haven't, I haven't been inside of it. Okay. Yeah. So you haven't been inside, it's not working. Mm -hmm. uh, so if you haven't been inside, mm -hmm. but uh, it's, it's similar like yours, mm -hmm. Square footage, twenty, oh, tiny bit smaller, right? tiny bit smaller, little smaller, right? and it's it was listed for four twenty four nine hundred. Okay. 
but it's pending right now. So it's we, pending. Yeah, we don't know. We don't know. We don't know how much this will go for. We will know when it will sell. What's this over here? Oh, oh go ahead. Okay. Oh, it's three car. Garage. Yeah. It's a three car garage, and you has only two. Two. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got two in it. You see that yeah. before? Mm -hmm. So, do you think <coughs> your, your your price is like that? It's three car garage. Uh, well, I, four bedrooms, three and a half bath, and you yeah. have four bedrooms and two and a half bath. Yeah. So this house probably less square footage, but have more features. Mm. If we go look here, you oh see. yeah, Wood so it's floors. a lot of gray. It's gray. Yeah, it's in good shape. It's very good shape. Yeah. Similar to you, you have a gar uh, um, kitchens like mine. Yes. Yeah. There, there's uh, custom cabinets, huh? Mm -hmm. So let's go to the another one. But this property only stayed how many days in the market? Four days. Four days. Wow. Is that good? Yeah. Let's uh, let's go to another one. This one, how much is uh, was listed price? Four fourteen. How much is sell for? Okay, yeah. Uh, four fourteen. Right. And this property a little bit bigger than. Was oh, desperate or what? It's not about this, but you have to adjust the, according to the market. Mm. Do you think it's desperate? Uh, the picture looks great, so it's 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 it's. it's yeah, that looks better than that one. Yes, for sure. But the difference is right now we are entering the season where you know Thanksgiving coming up, mm -hmm. and, you know, Christmas coming up, so a lot of people not really looking for the housing because they try to put the care of their family. Mm -hmm. And what's going to happen with the price? That's why price going down. Mm -hmm. And I would happy to help you and put your property in um, maybe April or May when we can get, no, get, I, increase the price. I can't. Know, I can't wait. And we'll, but we cannot wait. I can't wait. So that, we have yeah. to do what we have to do. Is that correct? Yeah. So this one is four fourteen, and okay. then we can we have a four twenty. Three days on the market. Three days on the market. Look at this one because it was. Price is high, overpriced, 436. What happened? They sell for 422. And it stayed how many days on the market? 69. So we cannot do that. I mean, we have to make sure that we sell your house quick. Mm -hmm. Is that correct? Okay. Yeah. And this is this is for sale in June. That one's a little bigger than mine. Bigger than yours, and plus, remember, it's the high season when people buy in houses. At, at that time, kids finishing schools, and you know, every family would like to move and you know, start this new house. Mm. So we definitely look, need to look at, at, at this too. What I would suggest, I would suggest 415000 or better if $1 less. It will look cheaper, but it will get an almost 40. <coughs> 415 which is a four fourteen nine hundred ninety nine. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Ooh. All right. Well, I guess I, yeah. I guess I need to think about it. I mean. And uh, which part would you like to think about it? Um, so it's just a lot of information. You know, I didn't. Uh, can, I, can I? I'll be honest with you. Um, so the last the realtor who came in, mm -hmm. you know, he said that he thought, well, we could at least try for four thirty, and then see what happened. Well, this is another misconception. I totally understand that you have another per, uh, person coming in and telling you that. Yeah, that guy from who came in. Who came mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. in four thirty? Yes, you can put it for four thirty definitely, and I would happy to help you. But my suggestion is, is depending on your circumstances. Mm -hmm. You have to leave early in order to do that. You don't want to stay like this property so long, and where you no. eventually you still need to decrease the price. Yeah. But what we going to put under market but a little bit where we can actually create auction affair. Have you heard about that? No. Auction affair uh, affects, it means when when a property have a great value mm -hmm. and a lot of demand coming in. So it's more buyers, you will have, you might be have multiple offers. And guess what? Believe me, I will not take the bad offer. If you don't like the price that they offer it, we're, not, we're just gonna reject. Mm -hmm. However, I will, better have multiple offer situation if we can get it. Yeah. Instead of waiting and bargain for offer. Yeah. Now time is definitely important. <clears throat> that one sold for so much higher though. I mean 
Even though it was bigger. This was an insurance. Oh, what does that mean? Remember I was telling you the high season and low uh, season where everything slows down? Mm -hmm. So right now we're in that season. Have you ever uh, bought a stock before? Um, no. No, but you know sometimes people buy stocks for uh, $50, $25 and they start to go down. Mm -hmm. The stock's always going up and down, right. up and down. I'm not a stock person, but mm -hmm. I, I just know how, that's why I'm never in stock. <coughs> so if it's going down, and they have to sell, they not sell for 25, they sell for $10. Mm -hmm. So it, it, because that market tells them, this is the price of the stock. Right. You are the same situation. Mm. Yeah. All right, so why don't we do this? How about if um, the price, uh, is it possible to, uh, we could do 5%? The other realtor said he could do it at 5%. I'm glad you asked that. Mm -hmm. You know, I was really wanna talk about the commission. Mm -hmm. Let me see. So the other, you agree with this part, four fifty nine? Yeah, I mean, um, yeah, I, I understand that the market's there now, which is why I'm asking, you know, you could cut me a break on the commission. And if you order to do that, you just wanna get the cash out as much money. Yeah, possible, yeah, right? yeah. Right. No, first of all, I will bring it to you added value. I already talked about what I will do. I yeah. I'm gonna work. Um, Weeks and uh, weeks and weekends, days and evenings. I will do all open houses, knocking doors, all yeah, marketing. The reason why the reason why I'm asking is because I I do you presented significantly, you know how you're gonna work to get the prop to create the demand like you okay. said in the beginning. So yeah, I do like that. That's, okay, that's why I'm still. I really appreciate yeah. that. Yeah. So only you need the one percent. What the other person said. Right. And uh, let me ask you that other agent, mm -hmm. does he have the same marketing that I do? I do? No. Or he probably Not just that wanna, I'm aware of. Wanna it, do PP, put the property on the market, put the sign and praise, and it's gonna sell? <laughs> I guess so. We didn't really go in that in depth about the marketing. Well, I do, uh, is he does this for uh, for a living full time or he just I think it? so. Like, so full time? I think so. I do this for a living, so that's mm -hmm. how I take care of my if I discount in my my commission, that means my payment is probably not going to be a couple days, mm -hmm. you know? But if that person discounted your commission, their commission, that means they will jeopardize your money and then they will easily give it when they negotiate. Do you want that to happen to you? No. 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 And you, you sound like a person you will never use discounted <laughs> services. Uh, for them. Yeah, I, I mean, mean, it's quality, it's everything, yeah, right? Yeah. Sure. So let's do the right thing and sign an agreement and start make sure that we use. All right. So you